So the first set of um, macromolecules that we're going to look at are called the carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are molecules that are comprised of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Right? And pretty much in terms of carbohydrates, for any type of living organism, whether they be plants or animals, they are pretty much their source of energy. So the primary source of energy for all living organisms are carbohydrates, which as I said, are comprised of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen atoms. So we've got plants, right? Um, plants, cyanobacteria, right? So they pretty much um, produce these carbohydrates, right? They're considered autotrophs. So they produce their own carbohydrates through photosynthesis. Right? Humans and other animals um, actually go out and feed off of other organisms. They, we either go off and hunt or we go in to a refrigerator and we prepare ourselves uh, a meal in order to obtain that source of energy that is found within molecules of carbohydrates. Now the simplest of the carbohydrates are what we call the monosaccharides. So mono meaning one, so the one sugar. These are considered the simplest of the sugars. Most common uh, simple sugar and probably the most important uh, carbohydrate monomer uh, is glucose. Right? And glucose pretty much is a six carbon molecule uh, that actually has the formula C6H12O6. And it's going to be a very important um, compound that we're going to look at later on when we're looking at what we call photosynthesis and eventually cellular respiration. So this is the simplest of the energy storage carbohydrates called glucose. And I'm just going to draw out what the structure of glucose actually looks like. And it's, it's hexagonal shape. Um, and we're going to start off with an oxygen and form our hexagon shape. Okay, and so oxygen being at one of the uh, the points of the hexagon. Now, on one side here, we've got CH2OH, right? So, and just underneath it, we've got hydrogen. But before I continue to label this, uh, just to point out for those who are familiar or aren't familiar with the chemistry aspect of drawing these type of molecules, um, these points here in chemistry represent carbon atoms. If they're not carbon, um, we would actually write in the letters, uh, ex with the exception of this one, because this branches off away from the hexagon shape. So in other words, every point here, so this point here that I'm showing, this point here, three, two, this is three, this is four, this is five within the hexagon. Those are five carbons, plus this sixth one here that I've written in uh, being the sixth one. Um, then we've got H and OH. For those uh, you should know, the functional groups, the OH, um, <clears throat> are the alcohol groups, all right, or what we call like hydroxyl groups. These are very polar molecules in water or polar ends in water. Um, then we have OH and H. I like to alternate. All right, so we've got H now at the top. We're going to put OH here at the bottom. I'm going to just put it in the OH here at the bottom because if when we, when I show you now the uh, next slide, um, it will you'll see what I'm going to do when I actually try to put together more than one monosaccharide together. And let me label my final hydrogen. So here we have an actual molecule of glucose. Very important carbohydrate. Very important monosaccharide. Right, monosaccharide because this is a one sugar, right? So this shape here is our simple sugar. Other um, six carbon monosaccharides uh, that uh, you may come across um, are as follows: galactose, and you can almost figure out where by the word lactose we could actually find uh, this kind of sugar. And if you thought milk, yes, you're correct. 
And the other um, simple sugar is called fructose. And we're going to look at fructose um, in, uh, in the next slide. And this is pretty much the sugar that is found in fruits. And of the, uh, the three monosaccharides that I've kind of labeled, fructose is probably the sweetest um, of the, uh, the sugars. It's the most sweetest. Uh, it's actually even sweeter than glucose.